What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new Diving Life tutorial. It's been a while, but we're picking it back up. I've got some uh, some really nice tricks to show you. Uh, so you know the Diving Life videos are short and powerful tutorials. And this time I'm going to show you how you can use Ableton Push as a MIDI controller. But the thing is with the MIDI controller is that whenever you select a channel, if you go select the channel, it arms the track. So you can see here that the chords are selected. And any track I will, would select is uh, armed immediately. So if I would, for instance, go to these chords and I select that channel with push, it's armed. So if I want to record some automation on here, let's say I want to change the automation here. If I would press record, It records a new MIDI, MIDI clip. You see here that it's recording a new MIDI clip. And of course you can just like consolidate that, you know, if I do Command J, it consolidates it, which is sort of fine, but I don't like it to record new uh, a new clip. You know, sometimes I want to make a really long one. So I record, for instance, this whole piece, then it would be one clip and I like it to be short clips so I can just easily copy and I, I just like that. You know, so having this little plus on will make sure that you don't override MIDI because if this plus is off, then it means it will also record MIDI, but it's deleting my notes. I don't want that either. So you can either have this plus on and this automation on so it records your automation, but I found a workaround, which is like this. You create a MIDI channel and that MIDI channel is selected. You arm sort of like hard arm that mini channel, then you click on this. And now I can use my push here to, to let's say record my automation. I'll show you. So now you see I've recorded the automation here, but on my, my sort of like dummy MIDI, MIDI track, um, I've recorded MIDI, which I can just afterwards just sort of like delete, you know? So this is a really, I think a really handy workaround because whenever you arm a track with push, it always is sort of armed. So anytime you want to record something here, um, you have to have plus and the automation sign on in order for it to record. But if you're gonna do longer pieces, as you can see, I've recorded this whole thing actually in one go. I don't want it to be one big clip. I just, I, I work a lot with colors uh, to, to indicate if it's a more busy pattern or a less busy pattern. For those who might know my tutorials or my lessons, you know, it's a pattern um, variation. So I like to have different colors. And whenever I re record automation for a longer uh, time, I don't want this to be this long, you know? It's, it's just, I find that annoying. So this is my workaround. Just create a dummy MIDI track, uh, arm it, and then click on this. And then you can just use your push to control the automation on this channel and record it without it recording a MIDI clip uh, over your already existing MIDI clip. That's it. I hope it's understandable. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, we'll see each other in the next one. Have a great day.